How are you taking uh, two jerseys on the road with you now, just to be sure? I guess we're going to have to just, just to be safe. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you before? Never. No, it's surprising. That's why when, at first I was just kind of, I got up like, like holding my jersey because like I felt it pull me down. I didn't even know it was ripped. I was just like telling them like I didn't touch him. And then got up and I saw a huge hole in the jersey. It was kind of wild. You went to the line and like I feel like you stepped up there like you're an 85% shooter, no offense, but you're not. Um, your mindset going to the line, because those were bigger than huge. Yeah, no, I mean, just stay calm. Went up there and shot them. We've been practicing a lot of free throws, shooting about 100, 150 every day. So just went up there and shot them like I've been shooting them in practice. Dwayne, Coach said after the game, he's been working with you as far as when you run to the point, picking your shot as opposed to setting up for guys. You talked about it a little bit, but what is that like where as you start playing that role more that you got to look for yours, but you also got to look for other guys too? Yeah, um, so all my life, I, I mean, I really was a primary ball handler. So um, I just was really uh, good at putting the ball in the rim. So um, uh, all through high school, I played one. Um, so, you know, it's something that I've done before. Uh, obviously, it's a different level here, but um, something that I got away from a little bit last year, played off the ball a little bit mm -hmm. more. Um, but, but I mean, it's, you know, it's something I'm, I'm comfortable with. Uh, it's something I've done before. Um, so now I'm just working on it every day and um, listening to CJ and, and Coach Diebler and, and Coach Holt as well, just um, giving me advice pointers, um, you know, to keep getting better every game. Is it like riding a bike? If you've done it before and you maybe didn't do it for a year and a half or so, is it, does it come back pretty quickly or, or what is that like? Yeah, and, and it's different. Um, you know, some point guards on some teams are, are um, you're supposed to go get 10 assists a game. And others, you're supposed to, um, you know, score more than others. Uh, those guys in the NBA right now that, that are different in that aspect. So um, for me, I'm just trying to figure out, um, you know, what coach wants me to do at that position and um, still being me at the same time. So um, I'm working on it. Do you think you have a good understanding of what coach wants you to be? Yeah, um, definitely. And um, I'm going to keep learning, uh, never stop learning. Uh, there's always new things that I can get better at and improve on. Um, whether it's uh, taking this shot, not that shot, or, or you know, we call a certain play, what we're looking for out of that possession. So, Dwayne, what are the you just said playing the way you would play it, but also the way Coach Holman wants to play? It. What are the differences there? How how are you guys kind of compromising in terms of, of the style of playing the one? Um, for me, uh, you know, like um, my role is a little different than um, other guys on the team. We all have our own roles, and um, we're all doing pretty good at it. Um, so for me, um, you know, shooting the ball a lot is, I guess, one of my roles. If um, <clears throat> shoot the open ones, to, uh, be aggressive. And, um, you know, they've been, um, all season long, they've been giving me confidence to do so. And now um, with the ball in my hands more, uh, if you have the ball, you can shoot it whenever you want, realistically. So um, just knowing when to um, pass up opportunities and, and, and get others involved and, and, and know that, um, it might not be our team's best shot at that point, uh, moment in time. So either of you, or both of you, um, curious, at this point in the season, how much do you look at the Big Ten standings? Uh, things are pretty tight in there. You know, you guys jumped up. <laughs> wins kind of push people up and down each night. Um, how much do you guys pay attention to that with an eye maybe towards seeding to the Big Ten tournament, or is that something you guys don't even think about right now? No, I think with those numbers, we try not to, you know, look too much into that other than like just stuff we need to you know work on as a team with offense and you know uh, defensive statistics and stuff like that so um, you know we're just working on improving every day and, and that's big with every you know with every new game um, there's new things we need to learn um, so coach just kind of preaches to us you know take it take it one day at a time and, and with a long season that's how you got to be Kyle, when Wisconsin came here, you had to, you, you were still out at that mm -hmm. point. I just wonder what it was like for you to have to watch that game. It seemed like that was a game where if you had played, that could have turned out a very different different uh, outcome for you guys. What, what was it like watching that game? Uh, it was tough. I mean, any game you have to sit out and watch, is, it's just kind of like the competitor inside of you is just itching to get out. So, um, yeah, I was, I was sad I wasn't able to play. But, you know, I'm back into it now. So to play them again here Sunday and play a good team, yeah. Talking about the difficulties of sitting out, being competitive. CJ had to sit out all of last year. Mm -hmm. He's been coming out strong for you guys lately. Knocked those punch free throws down the other night. Yeah. So what for both of you? What have you meant to this team? How have you guys seen him impact the game? Um, yeah, he's um, you know one of the biggest competitors on our team, and you know he's he's a, he's a leader for us. He's um, somebody that that um, 
talks the talk and walks the walk. You know, like he, he's always going his hardest. He's always giving his hundred percent all. And um, seeing a guy that's being as consistent as him, um, it gives other guys the, the, I guess, the blueprint of the right way. You know, so um, it's good for us. It's good for um, uh, our team, and especially at, at the one position, being the point guard and being the leader. It's uh, super good. Dwayne, Coach Holman's known to be hard on his point guards. Been moments that we've seen where he's been clearly hard on you. I guess, like, how do you like take that and like how have you responded to that when he does kind of get on you, like when you take a shot and it snatches you off the game mm-hmm. immediately? Yeah, um, you know, it's something that goes back all the way to when I first got here. Like, um, you know, knowing you know your coach when when you choose the school you're gonna go to, and um, you know, I know if if he isn't screaming at me or isn't yelling at me, then you know he doesn't care. And, and I think that's the most important part that, that I value and that uh, over this year, more importantly, I, I valued and understood more. Um, like if if, I hit, if he's not screaming at me then, um, or, or, or talking to me, then, then I must, he must not care a lot and I must be doing something that can't be fixed or something like that. So, um, you know, for him to, to be on me like that, you know, he wouldn't tell me anything wrong. So um, that's, in the moment, it's hard to, definitely hard to, to take it and, and emotions are rising and falling and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, he knows that what he's telling me in that moment in time is, is, is to benefit me and it's not to hurt me. So, um, you know, me maturing and, and growing as a player and learning that those conversations and those um, situations are only to benefit me is, is what I've been working on. And, and um, you know, I appreciate it from him and, and I just keep learning from him. Hopefully I can cut those down a little bit more. But. Can you sense when it's coming? Yeah, uh, every once in a while you look over and you kind of, you feel that like he's just staring at you through your whole soul, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, I, I just know his intentions behind it, you know, it's, it's it's to get us better, to get you better as a player, to get us better as a team. And, um, you know, to have somebody behind you like that that cares a lot means a lot, and it gives me confidence if that sounds kind of weird, but it does uh, in a way, so. You got one year on Dwayne. What was it like when you first got pulled from a game because you might have missed an assignment or whatever? I mean, what um, did you think? Yeah, no, I mean, that would have probably started uh, freshman year. You just don't have as much, um, I would say, leniency. Coming from high school, you obviously could, you could pretty much do whatever in high school and it'd be no big deal. So coming into an environment and learning college basketball when you first get here, um, like he said, you just got to know um, there's, there's, shot, there's good shots, there's bad shots, there's you know, there's good plays, there's bad plays, and um, the only reason you know coaches are going to talk to you and, and you know get on you is because they care. So um, just learning that, and learning the system, um, is just right when you get here, pretty much. So we've been you know just building on that every year. For for both of you, when you when you do get pulled and you're sitting on the bench, I imagine an assistant or, or whatever talks to you about the play. What what's the mindset? Because say Dwayne or Kyle, maybe you've had two shots in a row go down, mm-hmm. and you really feel good, but something doesn't go right on defense. What are you thinking when you're on that bench uh, for that time period, waiting to get back in? What, what's going through your mind? Um, you know, just just taking it all in, especially if you have an assistant coach talking to you, make sure you know you're listening, making eye contact, um, hearing what they have to say, because um, you know whatever they have to say is going to be important for the next time you go in, um, something they're changing up or something they want you to work on. So just absorbing it and you know, just taking it in. Yeah. Kyle, you played with a few point guards here. What is Dwayne like as a point guard when you're on the floor with him? I don't know, I love playing with him, you know, um, there's times, you know, he can take over the game and, and score when he wants, he can also share the ball too, so, um, you know, it's fun playing with him, it's fun playing with the other guards too, so, yeah. And I just wonder, if, if either you guys, do you, do you guys keep in contact with DJ right now? Do you, are you guys texting, calling, whatever, or like, how, how do you guys sort of approach him not being here for a while? Yeah, no, I've, I've talked to him a few times, but, you know, I just kind of just told him, you know, I'm, I'm here whenever, you can you can call me any time of the day, no matter where it is, when it is, and, you know, we can talk, so just letting him know I'm here for him and, you know, I'm here for him to talk, so, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, same, same thing Kyle said. Um, just checking in with him, uh, making sure everything going good. Um, like I said, uh, we're, we're going to be here for him whenever, if he needs a phone call, if he needs to ask us anything, so um, just always being there for him. So when you hit the big three at the end of the game on a kick out from Caleb, um, the only way I, I'm curious about the mindset of a shooter, where you missed a few before that. Um, I don't know if you can identify with this analogy, but in golf, if you miss a shot, 
you have a million things in your head that you think I didn't have a club face square, I didn't have my, I didn't turn enough, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. As a shooter, when you <coughs> miss a few in a row, are you thinking mechanically or what I need to fix, I need to fix my release, fix my this, that, or you're shooting, some go and some don't. Yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of a combination of both. Um, like, it depends on the miss, more or less, for me in my mind. Um, Coach Dubert, you know, he always tells me right after the shot, like, whether if my hips turned or my arm, my gooseneck pulled up or if I'm leaning back. And so I get all those combined with if I would have, if I brought my hand out too quick. Um, so, like, I mean, in my head, I'm, I'm going to shoot the next one if I'm open. And, and then, um, you know, I've shot a lot of shots in my life. And, um, you know, it's the same thing over and over again. So uh, the next one's not changing at all. It's going to be the same rep. Um, and, you know, I've made a lot too. So um, just shooting it with confidence uh, and uh, holding the foul through and, and knocking it down. On that particular shot, did you have did you have a correction you made before that particular shot? Um, no, I just realized that I was a little bit further back behind the line, and um, I had to. I, I, I took a little more time realizing I was I was pretty far back, and, and um, I held my foul through just a little bit longer. Um, stayed in my shot, didn't fall back. Um, made sure that that I watched it go all the way in before I started moving back. On the percentage of shots you make, like whatever your percentage is, forty percent or whatever, of that forty that go in, what percentage in your mind when you let it go? Are you pretty sure it's it? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, I, every shot I shoot, um, I shoot with 100% confidence. Yeah, but there's a difference between shooting it with confidence and when you let it go knowing it's in. Sometimes I assume you shoot it and you think, eh. Yeah, it, it's probably right right when I let it go almost. Um, you, you see, like, I, I know when the shot's going in and I know when it's not. And sometimes you have the, sometimes it goes, you get the lucky roll or you get the, um, you know, bounces on the rim a couple of times, but like the shot and the shot clock when I shot, I knew it wasn't going in. I just had to get it up towards the rim. But um, you know, one of my feet are set, and you know, I'm square to the rim, and, and I get it up. And, and um, same form, same fashion. Uh, I feel very, very confident in that one. Yes. Thanks, guys.